Senior Assistant Commissioner of Police Stephen Dean, Deputy Commissioner of Police Emrick Seymour, and Assistant Commissioner of Police Clarence Rackley were instructed by the Office of the Prime Minister to take their accumulated vacation leave with the option to start retirement leave at the end of their leave period. Dames insisted that he had spoken with Seymour and Dean, whom he called his friends. Both men are extremely happy. We had a uh, very cordial uh, conversation this morning. They're my friends. They all are. You know, but this is what is called the transforming uh, of an agency. You come in, you serve, you reach that point of retirement, okay? You prepare the officers under you to take over. And, and this, is what, this is what it's all about. This is, has nothing to do with politics. And we will continue this process. Dames insisted that he had spoken with Seymour and Dean, whom he called his friends. But well, we asked, what about Rackley? That stage is time to both move. Both men, are you speaking specifically about Seymour and Dean? Yeah. If not, there are three. Well, I just go back and I just told you. It was those who I was able to see. My door is so open, to, my door's to, open to everybody. You haven't yet spoken Every, to Rackley. Everybody, no, not yet. But, yeah. you, but you plan to? I, I speak to everybody. My, the office has always been open. They're all my friends. And so, uh, but that's not the point. Okay? All right? We have systems to follow, and that's what, exactly what we're doing. We're not, this is not personal by any stretch. The National Security Minister slammed opposition leader Philip Davis, who said ACP Clarence Rackley was forced into early retirement via a directive by the Prime Minister. Rackley is the husband of former Urban Renewal Chair Michelle Rackley, who was recently charged with 21 counts of fraud. Davis said that when you ask someone to go on leave, you're basically terminating them. Here's how Dames responded to that. There is nothing personal here, okay? And for the opposition to, to even make that assumption is very disingenuous because they left, they left the service in an absolute mess. Police force is a prime example, okay? We have an obligation as leaders all right, to make it right for future generations.